Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Pagey here, once again, with another video on Legends of Tomorrow Season 2. So over the past fortnight, we got some casting news along with new character additions for Legends of Tomorrow Season 2. The first of these being another version of Vixen, as well as the casting of Nick Zano, I think that's how you pronounce his name, as Dr. Nate Haywood, aka Citizen Steel. Now, these two characters of Vixen and Citizen Steel will most likely be a part of the whole Justice Society of America thing throughout Season 2 of Legends. But seeing that we already met a version of Vixen on Arrow, this video will focus on Citizen Steel solely. Now, quickly, if you're wondering why they cast another version of Vixen, uh, the actress that was Vixen on Arrow is unavailable, so the Vixen we're going to be seeing in Season 2 is basically an ancestor of the version of Vixen we saw on Arrow. And she will just have the totem and have the same abilities. So, as I mentioned before, we know that the Justice Society of America will be the main focus of Legends of Tomorrow in Season 2. Well, at least we are led to believe that. They could chuck a curveball, it could be something completely different. So hopefully we will get a few more casting announcements in the upcoming weeks before the start of filming, or hopefully some announcements at San Diego Comic Con in the middle of July. But casting speculation is not the point of this video. What we all want to know is, who is Citizen Steel? What are his powers and abilities? As well as what would his role be in the Justice Society of America? Before we get into that though, if you want to leave a like, I'd be very much appreciated. Leave any comments, are you looking forward to Citizen Steel, or what is another character you would like to see added to Legends Season 2? Subscribe if you are new, and follow me on Twitter if you have not done so yet. So firstly, who is Citizen Steel? Well in the comics, Nathaniel Haywood is actually a relative to two other superheroes with connections to the Steel name. His grandfather, Henry Haywood, was known as Commander Steel, and his cousin, Henry Haywood III, was simply known as Steel. So you could say Nathaniel has that superhero DNA. Now, Nate, as we're going to call him now, was an athletic guy and was a really, really good football player. But this was before he messed up his kneecap and actually got an infection in his leg, which led to his leg getting amputated. Now, following this, Nate actually became addicted to painkillers, just due to the whole amputation thing. To keep it short and simple in regards to how Nate became Citizen Steel, essentially the Haywood family was attacked by a group ordered by the one and only Vandal Savage. Now he was planning basically just to wipe the bloodline of the Golden Age DC superheroes. So most of the Haywood family dies apart from Nate and some younger members of the Haywood family. Throughout this fight though, Nate absorbs liquid metal into his body after a villain spits it on him. Yeah, I know, it's weird shit. But what this liquid does is change Nate's muscles, bones and even his flesh into steel. So Nate is now Citizen Steel. So what can Citizen Steel do? What are his powers and abilities? So due to his bones, flesh and muscles being turned into steel, Citizen Steel now has superhuman strength as well as superhuman durability. And due to Nate being an ex-footballer, he also has great athletic abilities as well. Now on the show, he will be known as Dr. Nate Haywood, so he may not have that athletic background and may be a similar character to what we have seen previously with Ray Palmer. And what could his role be in the Justice Society of America? It could be something to do with technology, but he could also be like a tactician, you never know. I think it would be cool if Citizen Steel was a tactician, uh, tactician, might I say. But it would not surprise me the whole Doctor thing if he has something to do with technology and stuff like that. But I can't wait to see Citizen Steel along with all the other awesome additions in Legends of Tomorrow Season 2. So thanks for watching guys, leave your opinions in the comment section below. What do you think of the addition of not only Citizen Steel, but Vixen as well? Leave who you would also like to see join the Legends in Season 2. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you are new. I'll catch you later guys, and goodbye.